Hi everybody, so I just finished watching High School Musical, the musical, the series. And welcome to my High School Musical, the musical, the series, the review. <laughs> um, I already made a review on Wattpad for the, f the f first few episodes of the se season. And I decided I'd just do a whole review because it was really good. Um, so, the original, the, the very first movie came out 13 years ago um, and what the and what the show is about is that instead of redoing um, the series over again they took different cast members different characters and um, have them to have like this high school production of high school musical which kind of reminds me of it it's I think it really worked out like how I've been watching this other show called uncle and like how each episode, like they um, do an uncle production of a high school production, um, having these people from their high school do their production, uh, their high school play again, the musical again, and they did a high school musical play for the tenth episode. Which is, it's funny how it worked out that way for the last episode of um, High School Musical, the musical, the series. Um, but but which by the way, I recommend that show as well. But this is not what it's about. Um, so I re I really like how it's like in like a um mockumentary ma type of thing like it's a documentary but it's not really a documentary well the characters are talking like to the cameras to us so I guess it's like breaking the fourth wall I never really understand what that means um it's a Disney Plus original and I recommend it if you haven't seen it already you should um this review might have spoilers because like it's hard for me to talk about about movies or TV shows without actually giving giving the spoilers or same details or whatever. So if you haven't seen you haven't seen it yet, then just go back to my video when you have the chance to. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I can't I can't wait. I know that I know they're gonna have season two. I can't wait to see season two. Um, there's a lot of fans of the series. Um, the same school, so the, the, the school that, um, High School Musical set in, that they did, they are having the same school, and, like, it's like the, the students are in that school, and, like, the teacher is like, oh, it really upsets me as a millennial that we haven't done the musical of High School Musical in the same school that the, the school was set in, like, so it's a big deal for the drama, drama teacher, Ms. Jen. Now I want to get on to like each character. So there is Wiki, played by Joshua Bassett, who I recognize him from Stuck in the Middle as Aiden. I really like Aiden. I'm in like Stuck in the Middle, and so I was very excited to see him on um, High School Musical: The Musical: The Series. Um, my one of my, my one of my favorite songs is from what, what is um I think I kind of you know. Which was originally a song that Nini sang for Wiki and says I love you to him, but because he's a guy, he wasn't ready to say I love you to him, to her right away, and so to impress her, to get her back, he auditioned to be Troy. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, to be Troy in High School Musical. The music to be in High School Musical, so to get to get her back, and so he sang the song for his audition. Um, hoping that that might, but he still couldn't say I love you to her after like the song because again he's a boy. Boys are ding dongs. Um, <laughs> um, I really love Ricky and Nini just because like the chemistry. Um, it's kind of cute like how Nini, her actual name is Nina, but because they knew each other in kindergarten, um, Ricky couldn't pronounce the A's. And so he called her Nini instead, and his actual name is Richard. It's like, okay, I'd rather have it be Wiki. But I love the chemistry. I think they're good together. Um, they finally did say I love you. Well, he finally did tell her that, that he loves her in the, in the series finale. I mean, in the season, in the season one finale. Um, and, like, when he was, like, explaining, like, he had loved her for a long time, they finally kissed. And like the kiss was very um different than like an actual Disney Channel type kiss. Like it was more than just a peck, which is very exciting and 
it took me by surprise that it happened. Um, and like before then, they did like the break, the break and free song, and I go like how Ricky was Troy. He had EJ do fill in for him, and like um, so like during that moment like. It really took everybody off guard. Like he didn't like no one no one understood why um EJ would fill in for Wiki because he's supposed to be Chad and all, all that mess. But Nini funny could pull herself together and during the big big and free song. Um before the big and free song, she noticed Wiki just standing there watching and EJ realized hey, like Nini don't want him, doesn't want him as Troy, she wants another Troy. And so he stepped aside and let Nini to do that song with Ricky and Ricky came on and it was such a fantastic moment and was very satisfying to me. Um, I hope that would be me and Josh, but we'll see what happens when it comes to us. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's like, I mean, I, I feel like... Um, High School Musical, the musical of the se series, episode 10, was very satisfying for all the characters involved. Because it, it was more than just Ricky and Nini's kiss and break it free. It was also um, Big Red and um, Ashlyn's kiss and them finally being together. And I really like... Um, it was well. It was, well, it was a kiss on the cheek. I really like seeing uh, Carlos and Seb. Seb, who's playing Sharpay, which is funny. He's like, I didn't, I didn't think that would happen because I thought that he'd be like a wine. But I guess like, yeah, it's awesome to see like a boy playing Sharpay, and so it really got me excited. And it's like, wow, Disney Plus is gonna be more mature than Disney Channel, and it's very exciting like, how progressive. The show is being. Um, with Nini, she played. She played. She's played by Olivia Rodrigo, and I know her from Bizarre Rock as Paige, and like she's going as Gabriella. Um, I love her performance with Star of Something New. Um, I like when she's saying w um, "wondering" with Ashlyn because I thought that was very relatable. Um, I just liked how um she was introduced in High School Musical the the musical the series episode one, and like, about how and and Ricky used to be together then he broke up because he couldn't say I love you, um and I guess like taking a pause she ended up being with EJ and there was like this whole love triangle with the three of them, um I personally don't really like the idea of um. Nini and EJ to be together before Nini to be with Ricky. But I do like the idea of Ricky and Gina being together. But I, I like again, again, I feel like um Nini and and Ricky are more end game than than Ricky and Gina. As long as they're not gonna be like with Star versus the Force of Evil, having Star and Marco and like having everything washed. I didn't like that at all. So hopefully they don't. It's, it comes more natural. Like so far, it has been. Um, but I hope that like they don't stay together for the whole series. Like they would maybe pick up again. Maybe like I I know that um Nini has like this this decision that she has to make either to follow her dreams or to be with this boy. And like if it was up to me, it would be following her dreams. So we'll see. Like I'm hoping my my prediction for season two is actually choose to follow her dreams. And therefore, again once again, Ricky and Nini can be together, and Ricky would not be with Gina for a little while. Because I do want to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, I do not like the idea of EJ with Nini at all. Although I feel like Gina and EJ could be good. Like, that would be a good ship. Um, but yeah, and I mean, like, with, with Nini, she's Asian. Her, like, the, like, the actress play so she's Asian in real life. And her character has two moms. One of them being Asian, one of them being white. Sorry, I got excited about that. I, I thought that was great. And like she's a theater nerd, while well, Ricky is a guitarist. Um, which I, that's why Ricky reminds me of Josh because Josh is a guitarist. Um, and I like musicals and yeah. Um, EJ played by Matt Cornett as, and he got in the war of Chad, but he originally auditioned to be Troy. 
um, I'm Kraiden, and like he made a mistake. Like, he went over. He went through uh, Nini, Nini's phone, and Nini got upset, and like did this um, scene together, where it's like there was no chemistry because like Nini was being upset, and so EJ de decided to do the song "A Been in Sorries," which is a good song, and he practiced it on his cousin Ashlyn. Um, and it's like, from that moment on, you can see that he progressed into a okay guy, a decent guy. Because originally when we first met him, I didn't like him at all. Just because, like, the way he acted, he was kind of arrogant and, like, he just, he was kind of selfish. But towards, like, the end, I really started to like him. I see the progression with him. Especially with, like, in the, in the last episode, um, when Gina came back, because, like, because her character was moving, um, and she wasn't supposed to come back to the to the play, and therefore Courtney was gonna fill in for her. But what ended up happening? EJ got on her plane ticket for her to come back, and so I feel like he is coming around being a good guy. Um, and I'm hoping like that more exp like yeah with homecoming like that was a a mess with those two. But I feel like they could maybe have a ship going on. Like come on, like um, but. There's a lot of drama when it comes to like winning ships and ships and stuff like that, like the usual um drama and all that. Um, well, like I said, with Gina, Gina is played by Sophia Wy Wiley, um, and she was from Annie Mac as Buffy. So that's another thing I was excited. Like Annie Mac was my favorite, well, one of my favorite Disney shows of all time. Um, so I'm still mad that they only had three seasons. But hopefully, I mean, High School Musical, the musical, the series would have a longer one. Like, I'm still hoping for three seasons. Just because, like, for, I want each season to focus on, like, all of the High School Musical movies. Like, this season was High School Musical 1. I'm hoping for season 2 will be High School Musical 2. And, High School, and season 3 will be High School Musical 3. Like, that what I want. Because I want them to, like, do each song and, like, see how they take it or whatever. Um... But yeah, Gina is a transfer student, and she's a sophomore. And it's like, what, what, another thing I really like about them is like, each character in real life is the same age as like, their on-screen counterparts. So it's like, they keep the ages and the, the grades and whatever. Um, but yeah, she auditioned to be Gabriella, but she didn't get that. She ended up being Gabriella's best friend, Taylor. Um, I do, like I mentioned before, I do like Ricky and Gina being together. Like, we saw a little bit of that. Um, and because of that, we get to see that she was more than just, like, we thought originally she was, like, a, a villain character. But because of Ricky, like, we get to see her as, like, a, a well high school student that's going through a lot. Like, with her and the move, like, she always moves a lot, and so she has a hard time making friends. Ricky is going a lot, a lot, with, through a lot with her, his parents splitting up, and, like, his... I hate his mom on the show. Um, and, like, his mom brought her boyfriend to the play. It's like, who does that? It's like, you guys are like, you didn't date for that long of a time. You know? That's that's really stupid. Um, but, yeah, I really like I really like that we evolve. And I really like the, the idea of the Nina and, and, and Nina and Gina's possible friendship. Like, seeing how that evolves going into season two. Um... But this episode, this review is actually getting really long, so I'm gonna save that into like a part two. So I can, and I'll continue on. Next up will be Miss Jen for part two. So see you in my next part. Bye, everybody. Take care.